teachers. This is Autumn at the Primary Techie. This is a PowerPoint tutorial for how you can make your own race to write sight words. These are part of the seven minute whiteboard video series. I have these for the first hundred fry words and I have them for 220 Dolch words but I was getting feedback from teachers that said, we love these, our kids love these, but we'd really like them to be, um, the words to be in the order which we teach them. And I totally understand that. That would make way more sense, but teachers all across the United States and even other parts of the world, I can't make it specific for everyone. So I'm gonna show you how you can make it exactly right for your curriculum. I'm really excited about this. This is a PowerPoint tutorial. I also have a Google Slides tutorial. If you have access to PowerPoint, this is the one you should use because it's going to be better than Google Slides. If you don't have access to PowerPoint, then stop this video and head over to the Google Slides video. Um, but for PowerPoint, you're in the right spot. So this is what you're going to get. You have seven slides right here. The first one says get your supplies ready. These are videos in these. Um, and then the last one put your lid back on your marker, erase your board really well, we're finished for today. So I've included those. If you don't wanna use them, you can delete them, um, but I've included them for you. If you want more than these five, on each one of these slides, we're gonna insert a different word. So if you wanna do more than five words, then just click on one of these and you can push Control D to duplicate the slide. You can also right click and choose duplicate slide to make more, to make however many words you want for your class to practice. If you want less than five, maybe you're introducing three sight words this week, or maybe you have a reading group that um, they are struggling with some words and you just wanna review just a few, then you can delete from this sidebar over here on the left, grab the slides and delete to get rid of some. Once you have it set up for the number of words you want, then you're gonna start inserting videos. Oh, and I should also say, if you are familiar with PowerPoint, you might be tempted to insert a new slide, but even though these just look like plain old blank slides, they're set with the perfect transition time, they're ready to go for the videos, so you should really duplicate the ones that I have here instead of inserting your slides. Um, Okay, so now we're ready to insert the words. So you're gonna go to your Google Drive file. And here we have all these videos. Each one of these is a different video. They're all a minute and 30 seconds long. So download the words that you want to use. And then after it's saved to your computer, so you're just gonna click on it and say download, and it'll save it to your computer. So we're gonna go back to our PowerPoint. And from here, you go insert a video from this device. Now we have that video saved on your computer. So from this device, choose the words that you want. So we're not quite done because even though that video is in there, we want it to start all by itself. So we're gonna go animation, start after previous. And then here we're gonna go insert video from this device. And then we choose animation. And we're gonna change this to after previous. Now if you get to this part and you don't have a choice of going after previous, look at that, I can't click on it, nothing's happening. That means you're, you're not selected on this video. So grab the video, just click on the video, and then go back here to where it says after previous. Once you have that set up, you're gonna save this under whatever file name you want. Maybe it's gonna be week three, reading group two, um, however you wanna save it. If you accidentally save over this template, that's fine. Just go back to Teachers Pay Teachers and download that template again, no big deal. Okay, so once it's all finished, this is the last tip I have for you guys, and I don't mean any judgment in this, but I get this question all the time from teachers. It's, this is not how we use it. This is not how we use PowerPoint. This is like the edit mode of PowerPoint, and we wanna go to slideshow. So to do that, you're gonna either click right down here at the bottom, there's one that says slideshow, or you can go slideshow from beginning. 
when we're in slideshow, it takes up the full screen, and now all the animations and sounds happen. From here, you don't need to click anything else. It'll go all by itself. Um, the time will vary depending on how many words you put in here. But you can literally be doing something else while your kids are working on their sight words. This is great for a center or a transition time. Um, I like to use seven-minute whiteboard videos. Can you write good? Good. Go. Go. Um, they're just writing the word good again and again and again on their boards for one minute. How many times can we write the word good? After one minute, we'll circle the very best one. And then it says, show a friend. If you're in person, they can show their board around to the class. If you're distant learning, they can hold their boards up and you can see it on your screen. Um, I like to use these for transitions when we come in from recess, if we have a few minutes, sometimes if we're just a little extra, we have a little extra energy and we just need like a settle down activity. These seven minute dry erase board videos are so great. So um, that's the editable one for PowerPoint. I'm gonna get out of here. If you have any questions, please let me know. I'm happy to help. You can also send me words that you need added so that you can get this exactly the right fit for your curriculum. I'm really excited about this resource, you guys, and I hope you are too. Thanks for watching.